you've smelled so many nice fragrances that when people give you fragrance these days you're just like thank you but deep down in your heart you're like um i don't know about this fragrance you just open the take out the fragrance pew, pew, pew. you know hi hey there are some fragrances that originally when i first smelled them i'm like Mm. To make sure that you are re-gifting it to somebody that the gifter will never come in contact with. That is the trick. Don't be too quick to throw that fragrance in the bin. My people, my people, welcome back to my channel. I make videos to help you smell good, look good, and feel good. It's Miss Prissy, baby. Please subscribe, I'm hungry. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and become part of the family. Now, I'm conscious that we are coming into Christmas gifting season, and some of us will be receiving perfumes in this season. People will be buying things for their parents, their moms, their sisters, their girlfriends, and some people might get perfume presents that they do not necessarily like in today's video i will be telling you five things that you can do with your perfume presence if you do not like it if that's something you're interested in without further ado let's get right into the video first on the list you can use your fragrance to scent your life what i mean by this is whilst a fragrance might not necessarily appeal to you to wear on your clothes or on your skin because you do not like the smell on yourself you can convert that perfume into other spaces in your life. You can use a perfume on some cotton pads and put it in your underwear drawer or in your clothes drawer. You can use it, this might not sound too good, but if you have like a bin in your bedroom, you can put some of the perfume on the cotton pads, put it in the bin, it will help the bin to smell good. You can use it on your upholstery in the house, you can use it on your couch, on your curtains. If you do not like perfume necessarily on yourself, maybe it's too strong, it comes off too strong or too soft, it's not long lasting, you can definitely use that perfume to scent other areas of your life. You don't necessarily need to use it to go out for the day. Another thing you can do with fragrance gifts that you do not like is layer it up with other fragrances that you like. If you have a fragrance, probably you don't like it for whatever reasons. Let's say it is a fragrance that is not very long lasting and that's why you don't like it as opposed to maybe a fragrance where you don't like the notes. You can layer it up with a fragrance where you like the notes. So for example, if it's too leathery, you can layer it up with a vanilla fragrance which will soften the effect or the impact of the leather in that fragrance. Definitely try layering it out before you totally give up on the fragrance. Number three, if you do not like a fragrance, you can also layer it with other fragrance products. You can layer it with body creams, with body oils, you just might never know. You might end up falling in love with the fragrance. Mm. Definitely give it a chance. Don't be too quick to throw that fragrance in the bin. I know I did another video and I said throw the fragrance in the bin, but that's if the fragrance has expired. If you do not like the fragrance, give it some time, okay? Some fragrances are like, I don't know, they are acquired tastes. There are some fragrances that originally, when I first smelled them, I'm like, mm. if somebody had told me that I would end up falling in love with Amani Blue Turquoise, I would have been like, who? You said what? Who? Me? Hell to the no, but now i absolutely love this fragrance so i'll say number three give the fragrance some time and it brings me to my next point it's about seasonal changes a fragrance might be nicer in the summer season versus say the winter season it might just be a bit too much for you in the winter imagine smelling something that is very 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 floral and fruity you might just be like eh, this is not for me and it might have something to do with the seasons try it in different seasons some fragrances are nicer in hot weather some fragrances are nicer in cooler weather definitely read the room before you before you totally write off the fragrance i know some of us like some people let's let me say the truth there are some people that are already somebody was saying to me the other day i don't know what fragrance to buy for somebody who has so many fragrances like me and i will not lie there are some people that You've smelled so many nice fragrances that when people give you fragrance these days, you're just like, thank you, God bless you, I appreciate it. But deep down in your heart, you're like, um, I don't know about this fragrance. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. Don't say that again. Layer it up, okay? It might not come into your collection and be beast modding like some other Goliaths in your fragrance collection. But just calm down. Do not be too quick to jump and say, ah. 
the performance is weak mix it if you're a fragrance lover you know how to cook this thing you know how to mix these cocktails mm. get in there cocktail it up with something and you just never know it might give it some juice it might definitely bring that fragrance to life an ultimate point on the list is if you do not like your fragrance gifts then i would say make it a part-time fragrance <laughs> sorry i know i sound a bit extra like what the hell is part-time fragrance what i mean by that is it does not have to be your signature scent it's a gift by the way i saw so i don't know if the person was if the person was trying to buy you something that was going to be a full-time perfume they'll probably have bought you something that is your signature perfume or similar to your signature perfume but some people don't know us so well and they might go ahead and get you something they might want you to try out something new are you serious it can, it can be your top of fragrance it can be that fragrance that you throw in the car you know those fragrances in the car sometimes you go somewhere like oh my god ah uh, i just came out in my pajamas i wasn't planning for this and you're like okay let me just quickly top up with something you just open your uh, what's that part of the car i don't know what it's called your dashboard i don't know or your jack something i don't know what the name of that part of the of the car is called you just open it take out the fragrance pew, 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 you know hi hey you know you're fresh again all those type of fragrances that you have in your bag you've gone to the bathroom and you're like oh you've you know sometimes you go into the bathroom you're planning to do the number one and then somehow the number two happens and you're just like oh my god i wasn't planning to do the number two and you just want to freshen up you know those sort of fragrances part-time fragrances they're not your all day every day i'm you know leaving the house i'm gonna spray this and take this and it's gonna be on me for the next eight hours it's not that type of fragrance but it can be a top of fragrance it can be a part-time fragrance it can be it can be a fragrance that you just use occasionally before you give up on the fragrance give it part-time don't give it full your full attention just give it a bit of your attention I move on. An ultimate point on this list, it will be to swap it. A lot of people will buy you a gift and they will put in the gift receipt. You can then swap it, you can take it back into the shop and replace it with something that you like or replace it with whatever you want to do. But I suggest if somebody bought you a perfume, just replace it with another perfume. Definitely swap it out for something else if you have the gift receipt. Finally, on this list, if you do not like your fragrance gift, this will be the last resort please do not say priscilla told you that you should go about returning gifts that people have given you from the pureness of their hearts this one will be depend on the sort of relationship that you have with the gifter how honest you can be with the gifter it will be to swap it or regift it don't be angry with me please don't hate me now this is the absolute last resort you've tried everything on this list that i have said every other thing i've said you've tried all these things you've tried to set your life could it work you've tried to layer it could it work you've tried to make it part-time it didn't work then and only then would i say you can regift it because if it's just sitting in your collection, it's gathering dust. I don't know. If you're regifting it, make sure that you're regifting it to somebody that the gifter will never come in contact with. That is the trick. Because if they do, and if you get caught, you're on your own. Do not go about saying, I told you to be regifting gifts. Go ahead and let me know if you got a perfume gift that you do not like. What would you do with it? Have I ever gotten a perfume gift that I did not like? <laughs> I'm not going to reveal that to you. Yes, I have, of course. I may have just done one or two things on this list and that's why I have come on here to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and do all of that good stuff, guys. Like, share and subscribe. Guys, please like, please share, please subscribe. And until I see you again in my next video, because I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Hi and bye. <laughs> Hey Bambi, hey Bambi, hey, um, it will be too, oh, <laughs> you can spray your cut, your, maybe, yeah, number three would be to, number, so, it's number one, number one thing that, first, now I'm conscious, I'm conscious that, Five things. It's 